Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So low FPS frames per second in games can be because of your system configuration. And if you want to squeeze every bit of FPS out of your games and on your system, then there are certain window settings you can disable to increase and boost your frames per seconds in games. Now, in regards to tweaking and adjusting your system, I have a whole playlist on this channel that's on the home page, and I'll also leave it linked um, here in the end screen on how to so-called speed up your Windows 10 and Windows 11 operating system and also certain configurations in browsers. So if you are interested in that, go check that out. Now, the three settings we're going to look at today are not really your conventional settings that are spoken a lot about when it comes to tweaking your system for gaming and to increase and boost your FPS in games. And obviously it goes without saying that um, if you are using any of these settings and these features, because two out of the three are security features for uh, Windows 10 and Windows 11, if you are using any of these features, obviously don't disable them. That goes without saying. And something else to take into consideration, you can apply the changes in this video for both Windows 10 and Windows 11. Now, the first and in no particular order is a feature called memory integrity. And memory integrity is something we have spoken about on the channel. And I've got a video, is it useful to use core isolation and turn on memory integrity in Windows 10 and 11? which has helped quite a lot of folks out on the channel, and I'll leave that link down below and in the end screen. Now, memory integrity uh, is an important Windows feature because it ensures that your computer remains protected against malicious code and unsigned drivers, as an example. And there's another setting under the same category called Virtual Machine Platform, VMP, which also provides core virtual machine services for Windows. And there are numerous reports online that do suggest that disabling these two settings, memory integrity and VMP, can result in better FPS in games. Microsoft itself has also posted that disabling memory integrity and VMP can better and enhance system performance. But although it's also, um, just on a side note, it's also noted that this isn't guaranteed, so always take note of that. So to... Disable memory integrity if you are not running Windows security in your system tray. Just do a search accordingly. So once you're in Windows security, then what you do is head over to device security. And here you'll see core isolation. Click on core isolation details and make sure that memory integrity is toggled off. So that's the first setting. Then the next one is virtual machine platform VMP as mentioned. And once again, um, you can hit your control panel to get to your turn Windows features on or off. But if you don't know where the setting is, um, just head to your search and enter turn. If you enter in turn will be enough to bring up the feature turn Windows features on or off. And this is a legacy component of Windows 10 and Windows 11. And what you would do here is you would look for, yeah, to the left, you would look for virtual machine platform make sure that box is unchecked and then when you uncheck the box uh, you'll click on save or ok and you'll follow the prompts and um, sometimes you might have to restart your system so that's how you can turn vmp virtual virtual machine platform off on windows 10 and windows 11 that's another setting you can try out to increase your fps in games now the next setting is hyper v and Hyper-V is a virtualization technology that comes enabled on your computer that allows you to run different operating systems as virtual machines. And Hyper-V can also cause, unfortunately, slowdowns and performance issues on Windows, especially if you are running a low-end budget machine which has limited RAM. So I don't think this will really affect your high-spec devices, but if you are running more of a budget machine, then this could help. Now, because I am running Windows 11 Home Edition, I do not have Hyper-V. Now, it's a very similar process to turn off Hyper-V, and we still stay in Windows Features on and off. We still stay in this dialog. And you'll find it right under 
Net Framework 4.8 Advanced Services if your machine does have it. And there'll be another box you can uncheck. I don't because my, this version of Windows um, does not have that um, enabled. So right under Net Framework 4.8 Advanced Services, you'll see Hyper-V, the same as turning off Virtual Machine Platform. You just uncheck the box and once again, follow the prompts and you might have to restart your computer. But I would always suggest when you fiddle with deeper settings like this, that you actually do restart your um, your system to make sure those changes are applied. So there's a couple of settings you can fiddle around with, guys. And as mentioned, this isn't guaranteed, but it is some settings you can try if you want to squeeze just a little bit of extra FPS out of your games. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.